TitleMatchNetwork.com. Um, good memories. Uh, I did, did I try? I rode with Eddie a couple of times. One time, I think me and him went to the gym or something and worked out together. But I had good memories with Eddie. I, I you know, I, I really miss him. Eddie was was a nice guy too. Were you there the night they announced his uh, passing? I was there when he passed. I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, when they found him that morning in the Marriott Hotel dead. I was, I got the TV, and um, Fit Finley. I never. He was the one that stopped me and told me, but I was right there when it happened. And I, oh, that's right. I had saw him that night, the night before. I saw him, and because it was a TV hotel, everybody was standing there, and I saw Eddie that night. And the next morning is, and when I got the TV, is that when you know I found out that he had passed. Were you surprised that, uh, well, down the, you know, backtrack, <laughs> let me slow down. We're, um, Vicky Guerrero, were, what are your thoughts on her being hired by the WWE? Do you well, think that was a good move? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, I did, she did good. She did good. I mean, me and her had some great times together with our storylines, and uh, <clears throat> it was just, you know, Vicky was a sweetheart too, man, and she always, you know, she, she was always appreciative. She would always, you know, come to me and she would say, thank you. Thank you for helping me. Because a lot of things that Vicky did to me, I told her to do them. Uh, we were we did some pre-tapes one time and she was having me to go do something. And she said to me, go get the coffee. I said, no, 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 no. Demand me. Make me go. You know, make me feel like shit. You know right. what I mean? And that's, that's what's going to work. The more you ridicule me is the more they can't wait to see me come back. Exactly. You see? So a lot of things she did, uh, I was pushing the wheelchair one time for her, you know, and I told her, I said, just stop me right in the middle of it. Tell me I'm going too fast. Make me slow it down. You know, anything. Right, right. Yeah. So I, I, I love Vicky. She, she, she's great. They, she's going to be missed there, too, because she had more heat than the guys. So I don't understand why they couldn't find nothing for her either, you know, I, was she a fan of the business? Did she follow the business at all? Like, how did that develop? How did she get that spot? I guess did by being at his wife, I, that's all I know. Cause I, I didn't see, I never did see Vicky as much as I seen her. You know, after Eddie died at all. I mean, I saw her in Eddie one time, but Vicky was always she never come around much. You know, I never did see her. The most after Eddie died, and they gave her that spot. That's when, you know, I kind of you know met Vicky. Do you think she developed a passion for the business? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she, well, watch, look at what they do to her. Yeah. She don't have no problem, you know what I mean? She know. What are your thoughts on how she improved and, and evolved over the years? Oh, yeah, very good. Great improvement. You know, after she got the hang of it, you know, and she understood what her role was, she just took off and she's off and running. Yeah. Well, Booker could work. And there were a lot of other guys that could work, too. But Booker knew how to work and he knew how to get over and he he was a he, he was good for the gab, you know. Book could talk also, and whatever he was told or his characters, Book knew how to get them over. And Book wanted to be successful. That was his main goal: is to was to make it too and to prove to everybody, you know, that he could be somebody. He could be a star. So I thought I thought it was great for Book. What are your memories of working with Booker T in WWE during the angle where Booker kept trying to get out of defending his uh, U.S. title? Oh, it was great. I loved working with him and Shaw Mill. Uh, they were great. I mean, one time they saved me. One time we were in the ring and, <laughs> and we were doing a promo and I forgot what I was supposed to say. Just all of a sudden, you know, I mean, I've had that to happen, but it'll come back, you right. know. But this time it looked like I couldn't get that thought back. And I and I and I stopped and Charmel and Book picked up on it right away. And Charmel just chimed right in and started talking. And then it come back to me, hit me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just you know, that's when you're on this, everybody's on the same page. You're a team. You got to know what's wrong over here in order to fix it. So I tell Charmel about that all the time. I said, thank you for saving me that day. Thank you. Because I swear I could not, that thought would not come back. What I was supposed to say, I couldn't remember it. Were you there for the Booker T uh, locker room fight? Uh, with who, Batista? Yeah, Batista. No, that was, uh, it was on a sign in the somewhere, some kind of an appearance or something. I wasn't there on that. Okay. TitleMatchNetwork.com